What's a relational database? How is it used? In this short training, let's learn about relational databases and how they're used in the business environment. A database is a collection of data that's stored in a computer system. Relational databases allows users to access, enter, and analyze data quickly and easily. Databases are such a useful tool that you see them all the time. Ever waited while a doctor's receptionist entered your personal information into a computer? Or watched a store employee use a computer to see whether an item was in stock for you? Then you've seen a relational database in action. The easiest way to understand a database is to think of it as a collection of lists. Think about the database of patient information at the doctor's office. What lists are contained in a database like this? Well, to start with, there's a list of patient names. Then there's a list of patient appointments, a list of medical history for each patient, and contact information. The list of lists goes on. That's true for all databases, from the simplest to most complex. For instance, if you like to bake, you might decide to keep a database of the types of cookies and what friends you've given those cookies to. This is one of the simplest databases imaginable. It contains two lists, a list of your friends and a list of cookies. But let's apply that to business. If you're a professional baker, you'd have many more lists to keep track of, a list of customers, a list of products sold, prices, orders, and so on. The more lists you add, the more complex your database will be. The thing that really sets databases apart from any other way of storing data is connectivity. We call a database like this a relational database. A relational database is used to understand how lists and the objects within them relate to one another. To explore this idea, let's go back to the simple database with two lists, people and cookies. You decide to create a third list to keep track of the batches of cookies you make and who they're for. Because you're only making cookies you know the recipe for, and you're going to give them to your friends, this new list will get all the information you need in one list. See how this third list uses words that appeared in the first two lists? A database is capable of understanding that the dad and oatmeal cookies in the batch it lists are the same things and the dad and the oatmeal in the two first lists. A simple list treats all things as distinct and unrelated pieces of information. In that list, you'd have to enter every single piece of information about a person or type of cookie each time you mentioned it because that database is not relational. Simply put, relational databases can recognize what a human can. If the same words appear in multiple lists, they refer to the same thing. The fact that relational databases can handle information this way allows you to enter, search for, and analyze data in more than one table at a time. Basic relational database design is comprised of four objects. They include tables, queries, forms, and reports. Together, these objects allow you to enter, store, analyze, and compare your data however you want. Every piece of data a query, form, or report uses is stored in one of your database tables. Think of a database table as a simple Excel spreadsheet that has rows and columns of data. Each of the cells in that spreadsheet represents a field. This puts tables at the heart of any database. Queries are a way of searching for data in one or more of your database tables. Running a query is like asking a detailed question of your database. When you build a query, you're defining specific search conditions to find exactly what you want. Forms are used for entering, modifying, and viewing records. You've likely had to fill out forms on many occasions, like when visiting the doctor's office, applying for a job, or registering for school. The reason forms are used so often is that they're an easy way to guide people towards entering data correctly. When you enter information into a form, the data goes exactly where the database designer wants it to go in one or more related tables. Reports then offer you the ability to present your data in print. If you've ever received a computer printout of a class schedule or a printed invoice of a purchase, you've seen a database report. Reports are useful because they allow you to present components of your database in an easy-to-read format. You can even customize a report's appearance to make it visually appealing. Databases offer you the ability to create a report from any table or query. 
These relationships might sound complicated, but in fact they work together so well and naturally that we often don't even notice that we're using a connected relational database and its objects. Have you ever used an electronic card catalog to search for a book in the library? When you performed your search, you were entering your search terms into a form that then created and ran a query based on your request. When that query finished searching the database tables for records that you mentioned in your search, you were shown a report that drew information from the query and related tables. In this case, a list of books matching your search terms. You'd have to search at least three tables to find just one book, learn its location, and whether it's checked in or not. It's easy to imagine how difficult it would be to find the right book. If you weren't careful, you might even mess something up by accidentally deleting or editing a record. It's easy to see that database objects make this search much more manageable through relational database design. This is exactly why people find relational databases so useful. Without a relational database, what should be a simple task, searching for a book in the library, becomes incredibly complicated and time-consuming. Relational databases can make even complicated tasks fairly user-friendly. That's why your understanding of relational database design and the objects that go into that design is so critically important to your understanding of how databases interact in the business environment.